Hey everyone, TechnoMentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to review iOS 26.1, the latest release on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. We're going to talk about the main features, battery life, performance, and if it's worth it to upgrade to this version or not. So let's dive right into it. First of all, if you haven't done so, the update is now available in your setting, general, and the software update, you'll see iOS 26.1, the official version, out. Now this update was surprisingly pretty quite large as you can see 10.929 gigs so it does take some space if you don't have space you'll need to make some space for this update and that's because there's a lot of features that come with it starting with one of the first features you're going to see in your setting is a ui update where now it gives you a little bit of information whenever you go to specific uh, setting to learn more about what kind of setting you can customize there you're going to also notice things like in the display and brightness for the liquid retina glass you have clear versus a tinted option as well. Just slight changes in the UI to give it that a liquid glass effect. You're also gonna have the option where in the past you would be able to swipe to open the camera. You can now disable that in your camera setting. So in your setting, with, there's a new toggle option which finally they made it available where you can disable that so that camera is, doesn't open when you swipe on the lock screen. Now there's also other features as well like things around the phone app as well, if you go to phone, you have a haptic feedback whenever you answer or and disconnect calls. So you'll see here in the phone app, there's now a haptic section for when calls are connected or dropped as well. There's also updates to the actual photos app as well. You'll see things like the video player app have a new way to kind of fast forward your video clips as well. And then a slight update in terms of how you filter and then select certain uh, things as well. You'll see here, you can select your options. Again, for some reason with this app, again, slight differences that you also notice here. You also see an update for the actual alarm itself. So in the past, the alarm, you could just select, for example, uh, the snooze option or the stop option. Now you have to slide to stop whenever you have a timer alarm that sets up. There's also been improvement to audio quality for FaceTime. So if you had low quality, this will also go ahead and fix it that for you. And then there's update to things like the Safari browser. Uh, now with this app being a little bit more padding here. And as you can see here, there's quite a few updates. There's also updates for live translation for supported languages such as Japanese, uh, Korean and Italian, and then Chinese simplified and uh, traditional as well. There's also update for Apple Intelligent and some of the other languages. Um, Apple brings it down here like uh, the, the ones are for Chinese and then also for Vietnamese and other ones as well. There's also update for fitness where you can actually now create your own workout. As you can see here, you can go ahead and add a new workout specifically, which you weren't able to do. You can create your own workout, again, besides the one that are preset already for you. So those are some of the highlights of this update. Now this update in terms of uh, the battery performance. So, so far I have not noticed any issues with the battery here. So the battery has been stable so far. Uh, it's working normally. I haven't seen any drop since I did the update. Again, all gonna depend on how well your battery is. This battery, for example, is at 100%. So I haven't noticed any issues. So battery wise, no battery drain or anything. Performance wise, has been pretty excellent, pretty much excellent. There hasn't been any issues with any apps I've been using on this, so I haven't seen any issues with it. So I don't expect any issues with this because this is iPhone 15 Pro Max. Again, iOS 26 shouldn't be a big problem for it to run because it does have newer hardware on it. And is this worth it or not? If you already are on iOS 26, definitely worth this update because it has some important uh, security fixes as well besides the actual uh, content of the those features that I mentioned here. So you definitely want to update if you're already on iOS 26 because this is a dot one version fixing those bug fixes as well. Now, if you're on 18 still, you can still stay on 18, but eventually you want to get on 26 because of just being on a more supported platform. Although you may not like written, liquid glass, you don't have to actually use all of that, but that is kind of the feature of it. So. We definitely think it's worth it. I want to hear from you if you updated to iOS 26.1 on your phone. Leave a comment in the comment section how it's been. And for more reviews like this, consider hitting a like and subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.